Hello, welcome back. This war against Milan is going perfectly to plan. Serbia can't even get over here. Uh, they've got some ships, but they're not using them. They're not trying to get access of anyone either. When Lorraine have sent their small armies over, I've managed to crush them. So these Milan territories will be taken within a matter of months. So I'll continue with the war. Uh, I should probably get a diplomat back as well soon, so I'll get the French one back. And I'll um, pause. There's a war kicked off between Naples and Venice, though it's dragged in quite a few. Uh, they're at war. Venice, Papacy, Liege, Württemberg, Switzerland, Athens, and Naxos. Uh, I think they've got Castile on this side, so my money's on Naples, frankly, at the moment. And that's not a good situation because they're getting really strong. Persia made peace. Uh, Athens made peace with them. Let's keep an eye on my diplomacy mark points so I don't go to 999 because I think that's the maximum. Right, so Lombardia was taken. Uh, something came up here then as well. Oh, the revolt one. Right, I'll move him out. And piecewise. I can't nick Labardia this time round at the capital. I'm gonna take everything else and probably vassalize them. If I can. Like, Lorraine is back. Uh, right, so I move him back to Lombardia and he can move down to there. Pressure's done as well now. So very nearly there. Right, he is going to Piedmont. Not for long now. Crush him there. Tuscany uh, doing a claim. Right, come on, Modena. Venice is siege in Romania. Tiny bit. Right, unhappiness among the clergy. Conflict of opinion and interest of religious and secular matters between our government and our nation's religious authorities has upset the clergy. Uh, ignore the demands. Lose 10 papal influence, gain 10 prestige. Capped on prestige. Or lose 25 prestige. I'm going to get a ton of prestige in the war for the war goal, but I don't know if it would be 25. So I'm going to play safe. Uh, the people in front doesn't seem to be useful for me at the moment. And ignore the demands. So I've actually got 100 prestige now. Uh, Papacy. Oh, I can spend one for a change. So it was slightly useful maybe. Come on, Modena. Castile's helping out. 
Naples. Venice has quite a military force there though. Ottomans are going against Mamluks. Ottomans really suck in this game, don't they? Uh, shouldn't normally. Haven't done much at all. Should have conquered half of Europe by now, really. The, the amount of advantages they get. Right, so Modern is finished. 100% war score. Uh, can I actually make peace release separately? Yeah, I can, but they won't give me anything. Right, so Milan. Uh, clear offer. Modena, Mantua, Brescia. All uh, cheap prices. Should be at least. Let me check that a second. Yeah. 3.7. So they're all 3.75, I think they are. And overextension will be 88%. If you go over 100, then you get really bad events. So, got to be careful with that. Revoke cause. What's that? 66. Can I vassal? Probably not. No. I could arguably take less and just vassalize them. That costs a lot though. I could just wait for someone like Switzerland to go and conquer them. Uh, it's cheaper to conquer a normal province rather than annex a country. Or I could just get into war with them again myself at some stage. Uh, but I think I'll take the territories. No treaties, not interested in that really. Of course, yeah, I should do that. Uh, they're Lombards, so they won't naturally run out on their own. Uh, right, so. Because we're Lombard as well, that's why I want. I think it takes 50 years to run out otherwise, normally. Right, trade power, it's going to cost too much for that. Right, so, shift click plus, takes it to 188. I think I should do that. To revoke cause, three territories taken, a load of money, a tiny amount of uh, war aggression. However, I haven't said that. Venice, Austria and Naples is quite a bit, even Switzerland. But I think it's worthwhile. Uh, a huge amount of uh, overextension. Okay, so send demand. Oh, how much diplomacy will it cost me? 24. I get 18 prestige, so taking that event wouldn't have been worthwhile. Would have been minus. Right. Right, so they accept. Huge overextension. My mission should complete in a day. So I'll wait for that. Uh, revolts. Three of them. Moderna. Right, so which is the biggest tax? Eight, nine, five. So I think nine is the best one to go to. I need to get my trade fleet trading again. Sent it to Genoa. I've got a ton of money to spend in a second. Uh, I'll wait a day though. Right, take Modena. 25 admin, 10 prestige. Oh, I should have taken the people actually because I've forgotten about that. Uh, Conquest of Milan. So Savoy is getting quite large now. That is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven provinces I've taken so far. Right, so mission integrate Brescia, become emperor, claim our rival's province Lombardia. So, can you claim? 
Can you claim if this is the last province? Suggest it sounds like it, doesn't it? Uh, I'll have to come back to that in a second. I think the one I should do is integrate Brescia, though. Right. I'm not going to wait to get missions on the other three. I just do them all at the same time. Uh, so Modena, 79, war exhaustion is tiny, so I'll just do it anyway. 79, 143, 127. Uh, I've got my diplomat, I'll wait until I can make a claim I think, so I might do that. Oh, relations, aggressive expansion is 9, Switzerland is 30, Austria is 30, Venice 65, so I could do with, well, I've improved relations as much as I can probably with them, 30 as well, so we're not too bad at all, and I should be thinking about declaring war on Tuscany very soon as well. Allied with Athens, Athens, Brittany, and Bavaria. That would be quite expensive, though. So it's uh, we have to have a think about that. Uh, what's going on here anyway? Overextension. I've right, done all that. Should buy Diplotech or buy some buildings. Uh, buildings. Which one's Diplomacy? Marketplace. Docks. Trade power, that is. So they're all... Modern would be good eventually. What about the docks? I'll wait until the cores come maybe there. Right, I'll spec right, how much military can have? Twenty five now and nineteen in ships. Uh I think I'll buy spend on, on this. Right, diplomatic. Can I get an advisor? Yeah, I can. 5.7. How much money am I making? Right, I'll lower the army maintenance. I'll sack him. Get him. And that cost should be lowered a tiny bit now. Four eight. Excellent. Uh, dry docks coming up soon. Trade depot depot. Six years ahead of time, so we're not going to be getting this anytime soon. Uh, right, I think I'll wait a bit to make buildings though. How, what's some money like? 0.74. I'll build some barks though. How many do I need? By three? Make a claim will be twenty seventh of September, wasn't it? I 
could potentially uh, do harsh treatment here. 25 would cost me. It's not that much. Which one's the most? Pressure. 40. I won't bother. Who are they allied to again? Bavaria is actually tiny. I thought they were a lot bigger than that. Athlins is tiny as well. And who's the other one? Brittany's tiny. So I'm going to be declaring war on them pretty soon, I think. Uh, If I take that, that will give me 11.5 with the current Cassis Bellion aggressive expansion, which should probably give about it's about three times as much it seems to be to the right ne right next door neighbours. So I could potentially give Naples dishonourable scum if I'm not careful. Right, uh, make a claim on here anyway. Do I still have my dishonorable scum on them? Probably. Yeah. Right, I should do that. Prepare for the next. I can take it then next time for quarter price, which is thirty quarter to thirty seven and a half. Uh convert. Uh, what else am I doing now? Waiting. Oh, uh, Naples am I improving. I think I should probably keep it there until it's 100. Considering how big a threat they are now. I think... I'll just wait. The next war I'll do is maybe uh, Milan again here. Because that's going to be... That's going to be really expensive taking Pisa. If there's a way I can get a cheaper Cassis Belly in the next so how many years, I should wait for it. And Milan's is probably running out eventually. 51. Actually, it's about to run out. They're dishonorable ones, so I don't think I'm going to have time uh, to declare war on them using it. But I'll wait. If it does run out, then I'll just go for Pisa. I'd probably end up vassalizing them in a war, maybe instead. Or waiting for Switzerland to take it. And then taking it off Switzerland. Get. It's so important to get cheap cost as you can. So I can expand so much quicker then. If I'm getting. Uh, taking these provinces for a cheap amount. Aggressive expansion amounts. Isn't our army grand? A grand army is so grand that it is marching from one victory to another. Experience from those victories positively impacts uh, recruiting and training of new soldiers. This is fantastic. Uh, so cost is reduced until 189. I should remember that. Uh, we are below our army limits. Probably start recruiting in a few years. Uh, how much money have we got? 1.18, and that is even though I've got a level two advisor now. Looks as if the papacy is going to be annexed by Naples soon. The Castile is really helping Naples out here. In terms of proper extension, national revolt risk, stability cost modifier, trade 
mercenary well it affects loads doesn't it right the ships are coming through I'll wait until it just after a month starts and then bring the rest of them back. I'll stick them back in Genoa. Uh, Probably, if I get 15 of them, I'll probably start splitting them up into different nodes, maybe. Right, so Genoa at the moment is... I should have checked them before I stick them all together, but too late now. It's 2.58. Uh, I'm not sure if it stopped calculating the fact that the... Oh no, it has. Look, they're not there. So 2.58. That seems to have gone up. You know, uh, it may not have actually stopped calculating, actually, I'm not sure. Should probably make some more. I can afford. Could make some cogs, or I can make a couple more barks. I think I'll just make a couple more barks at the moment. Don't massively need those cogs. Uh, so... I don't know. I'll make a couple cogs, I will. So, build ships. It's going to come a time when I want to be invading Sardinia and these territories. So I'm going to need uh, transports. my trade up to 2.58 was it? I can't remember but that's one and a half ish right uh, is there anything I'm missing out on doing? successions not really I'm going to wait until he's caught and then start making some more buildings I think right truce runs out in 89 for Milan Mecklenburg, no. I hadn't realised it bounces along. Right, so Poland seeds M Moravia, and that's about it. For a quarter of the cost, a quarter off the cost, I should say. Uh, yeah, Austria isn't that strong in this, but uh, well, I guess it's growing stronger. Not sure what time the inheritance for Burgundy runs to. Uh, probably not beyond the century. Uh, but there's not going to be anything left of it, is there? Munster is. I don't think it's Dutch. It's Hanov. Not sure what culture it is, but I think it's in uh, 
a German one, so I don't think it can inform Holland or the Netherlands. I'm not sure on that. I haven't had a look at a culture map mode for ages, have I? Well, if much has changed, I can't see much. I culturally converted a couple of my provinces, but I don't really see any changes apart from that. Uh, Constantinople's gone Turkish, that's about it, is it? Austria's declared war on Burgundy. We're still actually in alliances with Austria and Castile. France is beating up England now. France is going to be super nasty now. They're going to be turning their head against uh, myself at some stage. Or Castile. Right, the military power's going up as well. I could buy an idea. The next one of these is a cannon though, so I think I will take this next. Uh, neighbor bonus is minus 10. I'll wait until it's about 900-ish and then hopefully I remember to do it. Right, so Naples is finished. Their aggressive expansion is high. If I can get that to minus 99, I get the super bad boy on them. Which would be amazing. Ooh, I was wondering what that was then. Uh, Austria is at war. Who are they at war with? Burgundy. They want our help. Um, don't see why not, really. I'm going to wait I wait a bit until before November 3rd to see who joins. Who is Burgundy allied with Brittany? Austria and Hungary. I don't. Is it coalitions against Austria? Probably not. Low dishonored then. Right, I'll. Accept. I don't think we're going to play a part in this. If France hadn't have taken that, then, well, I doubt I'd have taken it, but it doesn't matter anyway. Can't be done now. Alright, so Diplomat returns. Uh, France, I need to improve. the war like they're basically dead no fleet and no troops why would oh I think it was imperial tra territory that's why Austria declared war Hogs. Right, 
and I think it's probably been about half an hour, so call that an end to the video. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment or a question, please do, and I'll answer all of those. And most importantly of all, please watch the next video, and I'll see you next time.